everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a print and play copy of this 18 card game, Barnyard, by BGB Publishing. Now, just like normal, let's get right into this. This game is set up by shuffling the cards and placing them barn side up. Take the top five cards and flip them over to form the yard. Then place out a second barn card next to the deck. Players will take turns performing a barn action on one of the two barn cards, which will change the order of the yard cards. Then players will flip their chosen barn card over to the yard side and place it at the end of the yard line. Lastly, the active player will corral the animal on the top of the yard line and place it in their own personal corral zone, which will form a 3 by 3 grid at the end of the game. In addition, you can play with the Farmer Expansion, which gives each player a random farmer, which will score points according to their listed scoring ability. These cards give you direction, but also an extra layer of generating points. Cards all belong to a certain type of card. This is listed on the top right of that card. Now, there are pets that use this icon, labor type that use this icon, food that uses this icon, and wool that uses this icon. When performing the barn action, you will choose one of the two available actions to move cards so that you change the order and get the cards you want at the time you want them. These actions may have you change a certain type of card with another, changing those two positions. It may have you move whatever card is in front to move a number of spaces down or any number of spaces. Maybe you can move any card down one or two spaces if that's what it says, or maybe the card has you shuffle and reveal out the entire line again. Whatever action you choose, you want to try to use it so that you place your desired card on the top of the line. You will then add the card that you took for your barn action by flipping it over and then placing it on the bottom of the line, and then you will take the top card to place it in your corral. Each card you place in your corral will score points differently, and these are listed on the bottom of that card. Some will score points by placing certain types of cards adjacent to that card, others for having certain animals or having other specified cards in the corral. Some score points, but then give you negative points for having certain types of cards. So really, location and types of cards will all play together with the cards that you gain to score you points. Also, corralled cards can never move after you place them and can't ever form anything larger than a 3x3 three three grid. There are 18 cards total, so each player will have 9 cards total at the end of the game. Whenever you can't form a barn deck with 2 cards, instead of taking a barn action to switch the order of the yard line, then they will instead choose any of the available yard cards to add to their corral until each player has their 9 cards. Players will then score points from their card scoring abilities, and whoever has the most points wins the game. So my game here is just printed on these cards of normal printer paper, so keep that in mind as it will look a lot better with thicker paper and actually having cards to play the game. But the game is all about using the barn ability to manipulate the yard in order to get the cards that you want, but it's not that easy. You will then need to place those cards in good places in your corral and corral them to score points. Getting all cards that score by position is not a good idea because some of the cards will need to be placed on the corners. But some placement cards are smart and then getting others that score from having other cards wherever they are in your, in your corral will help you to be more flexible in your positioning of whatever corral cards you get. Game surprisingly can be close, so the one point chicken card might be worth snagging so that if you do tie, you end up winning the game. Now, this is a fun two-player 18-card game that plays quick. It isn't the same exact strategy every time that you play the game. And for me, this is a game that I will be playing a lot with my six-year-old daughter. You know, the theme is perfect for us. I mean, now we live in Nebraska. We need to corral some animals. And the game has strategy that I can enjoy, but rules that are still simple enough for my six-year-old to understand. So corral some animals with your family and friends in Barnyard, an 18-card drafting game by BGB Publishing. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.